Hey John, or whoever else is uh, watching this video. This is the Pineapple Mini Mark II flashlight by uh, Raylight. And I figured that I would make this quick video to just overview it and how to program it because I found it a little bit complicated at first. And then I figured that I would make this video to share that information once I figured it out personally. And so for the flashlight, it's just a generic basic button presses that will uh, go through each of the power modes and I'll go through how to program those power modes uh, at the second half of the video. And so for the battery, there's two ways to get to the battery. Uh, the first one is just through the front here. You can just unscrew that and then there's your battery. The positive end will be in the front and the negative end of the battery will be at the back. And there is going to be O-rings on both ends and so these are for water resistance so make sure that those are good as well. The second part, or the second way to get to the battery is through the end cap. Now this is kind of a decorative end cap. This one's the brass one. So this is actually a cover for the underlying button. And so when you unscrew this, you'll either unscrew the whole thing or just the end cap to reveal the button. And so we'll see which side here is. And if you, if you unscrew it carefully, you'll probably be able to get whichever one that you need. So in this case, I just unscrewed the, um, the the decorative cap. So this is the actual underlying button. And so for programming, I prefer to use this rather than this because it's easier to do the required half clicks with just the underlying button. And so for this, there is the washer. And then if you unscrew this again, this is where the other O-ring is. This is where the other side of the battery is. And so you can do that as well if you prefer. Sometimes, uh, if you unscrew the end, uh, the end cap, you might unscrew the whole thing and this will be screwed into it. If so, just unscrew it if you need to. Uh, not much of a deal. And then, so we'll unscrew this back in. And to program the flashlight, there is a link to the manufacturer's website and they have a guide there that shows exactly what means what. So when we, pro when we go into programming, there's going to be different modes that we'll select and their page will show describe exactly what is what. So right now for you, I set it to level two, which is a 10%, 40%, and 100% power mode. And I have disabled the moonlight mode because I figured that you don't really need that because it's like 1% power. So to enter power mode, you're going to do eight half clicks and then a full click. And so a half click is, or rather a full click is, the regular click, you press down, and then you hear the click. When you do a half click, you won't hear that click, but the light will turn on. So you want to press it down halfway, the light will turn on, but there's no click. And so you're going to do that eight times, and then do a full click, and then that will enter programming mode. And you will see that because it will flash, and then it will strobe, and then that will tell you that it's entered programming mode. And so we'll go and do that now. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full click, flash, strobe. Now we're in programming mode. So it'll cycle through the, the different modes. And so the different modes are dictated by a number of flashes and then a strobe to separate them. So you, so right now it's at four flashes or that's five flashes. That is to factory reset. So one flash, first mode, Two flash, second mode, three flash, third mode, and then fourth flash. That's the final mode. And then the last one is five flashes, and that's just a factory reset it. And it'll run through this twice, and then it'll just abort if nothing's happening. And so we'll just go ahead and do that again, and we're going to stop it and select when it's at mode two, which is two flashes and then a strobe. So we'll enter programming mode again. All right, then we'll click it again on mode two. There, that was mode two. And so this should be a 10, 40 and 100% mode. And that's essentially the overview of this and how to program it. We'll go ahead and put this decorative washer back on and we'll unscrew the cap back on. And it might take a little bit of bending because this clip is uh, very robust. 
that's pretty much it. Thank you.